Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing well and in this video guys I want to show you how to modify your BIOS on a Sapphire uh, Nitro RX 480 AGB graphic cards and take them from 24 mega hashes all the way to 30 mega hashes mining Ethereum. A uh, few things uh, before you get started. One, I always advise when you do the modification to have one card only connected to the motherboard so therefore if you have all six for instance uh, turn off the rig uh, you know, unplug the, the rest of the five cards and leave just one into the rig and then you can start the modification. Now, if you're doing the modification on other cards, no Sapphire and Nitro, I think uh, this will also work, but you have to try it for yourself. If you're going to do the modification for the, like myself, uh, uh, for Sapphire Nitro cards, you're going to have to, before you do the modification, move this switch to the right side. So as you can see guys, above the LED switch there is a little switch which currently could be on your cards on the left. You need to move it towards the right if you're holding the card like this and it should be facing towards the HDMI ports. Now once you've moved this switch you can start the modification. The next thing guys you're going to need in order to do the modification is the AT Flash uh, program and the Polaris BIOS editor. I'm going to put a links in the description so you, if you don't have them you can download them. Also. Uh, you need to check that you have the the same cards. I'm uh, doing it on a Samsung memory cards, and I'm using the 16.9.1 driver. I think this modification work on 16.9.1 and 16.9.2. It may not work on on a previous version of drivers, and it may work on newer versions. You just have to try. But I think with the previous version, you're gonna have to you're gonna have a problem. So if you wanna have the same driver as me. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download it and, and obviously update your driver if you already don't have the correct one. Now, uh, in regards to the updating the driver, I personally had a small issue because when I was going to the device manager uh, and then click on the display adapters, right click on the graphic card, click on update driver. When I was doing, when I was trying to update the driver from here, Windows kept saying that I've got the correct driver up to date one so it didn't want to obviously update my driver. So what I had to do is um, so as you can see this is what it's saying when you try to click if you even if you have an older driver it will still probably say the same thing. So what I personally had to do is um, go to the AMD web page for the 16.9.1 driver Crimson Edition and download it myself uh, and then start from here the you know the update. So I'm going to put a link uh, for the driver on the description section. So if you want to download it, you can go ahead and download it. So I'll click download. Once it's downloaded, guys, um, I didn't run the program. I, or I think the program didn't start. So then what I did is I went to the um, where the driver is. And for me, it's on the desktop, C driver, MD folder, and here is the driver. I clicked on it, and I started the setup. Now once I started the setup, I let it run to the end, I restarted the computer and then I had the correct driver installed. So this is how it worked for me, it didn't work through the device manager. Now I've done all the other cards guys, so this is the last one I'm going to do a BIOS modification. So I know it works but I'm going to show it to you so you can see that actually works. So now all the, once all this is done, we can start the modification. So the first thing guys, let's learn the, run the start Ethereum editor and see the mega hashes we're getting, it should be 24. So we're just gonna have to wait for a moment until it loads to, so we can see what mega hashes we're currently getting from the cart. But again, as I said, it should be 24. If you have any question guys, if something is you're not sure of, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to reply to you or you can write to me on my personal email which you can also find in the description section. Uh, I'm not going to put uh, my modified BIOS in uh, a link to it but if you do want it to, uh, for me to send it to you, just write me an email and, I, and, I, and I'll forward you the, uh, my personal BIOS. Uh, but remember this will work for the Sapphire R Nitro RX uh, 480 AGB. It won't work for the MSI or XFX. So as you can see 24 mega hashes as I said to you guys. So let's do the modification. Now the first thing you want to do guys is um, 
start the AT flash. Uh, but, uh, sorry, you, you go here, you right click on it, and you run it as administrator. From here, guys, I've already saved the BIOS, but I'm going to do another one, so I'll show you. So as you can see, only one card currently connected to my uh, GPU. So click save in order to save the BIOS. And I'm going to save, uh, I've got the folder in there, but I'm, I'm going to save it separately, so I'll show you. So you can yourself as well create a folder and put all your drivers in there. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to save it outside of the folder. So what we're going to call it, let's call it Sapphire RX 480. And remember, you need to put dot .rom when you're saving your bias and click save so it's going to take a moment until we save and as you can see it's all been saved so now this is done the bias is saved you need to do that to be sure if you need it if something happens so you can you know have your original bias from there on guys we're going to store the Pol Polaris bias editor Again, we, we click, uh, we right click and it run as administrator and click yes. And we're going to open this uh, save bias now, guys. So I'm going to go outside and here is, as you can see, the ROM. I'm going to open it. And from here, guys, what we need to do is the following. Uh, we're going to need to uh, change the, the numbers from 0, uh, 1750. We're going to have to copy these numbers from the 01750. We're going to take them. Uh, no, so I'm going to, sorry, I, because I'm using a team a viewer, I try to, so right click, click copy. So 01750, you want to right click on it, copy it, and then move to the 0, uh, 2000, delete all this, and then right click and paste. So you want to copy the information from the 0750 to the 0 2000 now once you've done this all you have to do is click save and you have to save as a different because you want to keep the original so I'm all I'm gonna put here is M the, the letter M which I know is the modified bias and I'm gonna click save now this have now saved my modified bias and I'm gonna close this because I'm gonna need I'm not gonna need anymore and let's go back to the AT flash so from here guys we need to load the image now what I'm going to show you here is what I personally did because I didn't want to do all this uh, modification for all the six cards so what I did is when I did the first modification as you can see uh, I have all the cards here and I even have the modified uh, 480 but I don't need this file this is the one I used for all six cards so when I did the first modification for the first card I did I saved the modified bias as you can see I called it 480 modified.rom and I use this modified BIOS for all the six cards. And I'm going to do the same here as well, guys. So click on it. You don't have to, you know, modify every single card. All you have to do is save the BIOS for every single card. But you can use the same file, uh, modified BIOS for all the cards. So here I click open. So I'm opening the modified BIOS. Open. So as you can see, it's the 480 modified, and from here, guys, all you do is program. Now it takes a bit longer than the saving of the the bias, but that's all right. We just we just have to be patient, uh, and it will be done. So there it is, guys, all done. So from here, guys, you're gonna click continue, and I'm gonna have to restart. Normally, it will tell you to restart it right there and then, but because I was playing already with it, it didn't ask me to restart. So I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna restart myself. But normally, once it modifies the bias, it gives you the option to restart right there and then. So click restart, and we're gonna wait. Now, as you can see, I'm using the uh, the team viewer to do this change for you guys. So we're just gonna have to wait for the the rig to uh, load up, and then it will start right here for us to continue. And I'm watching now the TV screen to see when it's done, so I know. We can go back in and continue the modification and see that it works. Uh, again, guys, I'm going to put the uh, links for all the the things uh, that I've used in the description section. And if you do have any questions, feel free to ask me. So click OK. Right, so I should have the 
the claim will run automatically because this is how I've got to set up when the window starts. So let's see what we, what we will be getting now. It should be around 27 point something mega hashes, an increase of a 3 mega hashes, and then we're going to continue with a bit more to get it all the way to 30. So I'm waiting for a moment for the claim more to load it. This is Ethereum uh, mining, uh, the same. so there you have it guys, 27.9. So as you saw earlier on, it was 24.1, 24, I think it, it, it was about 24.5. So here it is guys, almost to, up to 28. So I'm going to close this guys, and the next thing uh, we're going to need is, this, I'm using the Sapphire tricks to modify a few more things to get it all the way up to 30. So as you can see currently the GP clock is at 1266 and the memory clock at 2000. So what I'm doing here is I'm changing this to 1150. I know it works, it's stable. You can play around uh, with it and probably get even better results. But this is the, the numbers I'm using. And I'm going to undervolt it by 100. So this change, so I'm just going to change it again to 2150. So this is the numbers I'm using. You can use the same number to begin with and then if you want you can obviously change them and click apply that's all you have to do guys in here close and let's start the claymore again and see what we'll be getting now i think we will we will get about 29.5 if i play with the memory clock and let's say make it to 2200 at that point i should get uh, 30 maybe even more mega hashes but personally for me i'm gonna leave it here i know it's stable i may play with it at later stage but for now this is how i'm gonna leave it so 28.0, uh, let's leave it for a moment guys, it should be 29 point something, uh, I don't know, is it the screen that is dropping it, uh, or I didn't apply it maybe, let's go back to the sapphire, did I forget to apply the, the numbers, no I did apply the numbers, so very strange, so maybe this one doesn't, no, there it is guys, 29.5 so it took a while just to you know uh, get it going so but here it is 29.5 29.6 almost so as I said if you get it to a slightly higher memory clock you should be getting easily uh, uh, 30 mega hashes so there you have it guys very easy to do I think it's worth doing now if something should go wrong with the cards I think it's very important for you to know uh, and you send it for let's say to be fixed or replaced you may have a trouble because people say that when you bias when you modify the bias we lose the warranty but for me personally it's worth the risk because obviously I'm trying to mine as much as I can and I know people have modified their cards for and they use them for years and they haven't had a problem so this I think is just coming obviously to so we don't modify but do it on your own risk guys this is how it's done it, it works um, so from uh, six let's say if I times it six times 24 mega hashes uh, so from about 144 mega hashes we are getting the cards to uh, get us about 180 mega hashes guys so an increase of about 30 to 35 mega hashes uh, you know with all six GPUs so and that's quite a lot guys well, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any input, feel free to leave it in the comment section. If you do want to ask me anything, feel free also to do it. And if you want me to send you the modified buy so you don't do the modification yourself, uh, just uh, write me an email and I'll send it to you, uh, no problem. And uh, I'm going to put links in the description for the AT Flash, the Polaris Bias Editor and also for the driver. And um, yeah guys thank you for the support if you enjoy my channel feel free to subscribe and share and also as you know guys if you're following me i'm with genesis mining uh so if you are also or you want to sign up with them uh, feel free to use my three percent discount code uh i'll be very grateful for the support you can find in the description and in the comment section thank you for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye for now